welcome to the Philippines, Aquaria. Thank you so much. Thank you so happy to this be here. This is your first time. First time, yes. It's uh, only my second time in Asia at all. So, mm -hmm. um, really excited to be here. How big of a deal is it for you to bag this um, oh my campaign? Gosh. Uh, so cool. I mean, at first I didn't realize quite the scope of everything, but. Uh -huh. Um, it kind of definitely started clicking once I started seeing all the, the first press releases, mm -hmm. seeing all of my fans here in the Philippines um, tagging me in videos of, you know, 50-foot billboards of me <laughs> you know, on the side of the highway. It's yes. like, it's definitely a dream come true, a dream that I not necessarily even knew that I wanted, but it's also just crazy. It's a little overwhelming, but I kind of love it. Uh -huh. Did you expect, like, you know, you're going to bag this type of campaign in the biggest department store in the Philippines, and in the Philippines at that, in Southeast Asia, right. out of all the countries you've been to? Um, you know, even, I've done some crazy things in yes. uh, the past couple of years of my yes, life. Yes, we know. I'm super grateful for that. Um, I don't know if I even ever kind of considered some, uh, like, a partnership like this to uh -huh. be an option. Um, but it's just so cool, it's so surreal, it's it's so nice to, you know, the recognition that I get in the States is obviously Massive. very bountiful, yes. and, and I'm very grateful for that, but to see that, you know, people care about what I do elsewhere in the world is, mm -hmm. is so awesome. Even when I get to travel to Canada or Mexico or something, that's so cool, so traveling literally 12 Across time the globe. Zones, yeah, like, uh, it's, it's just so surreal to be so far away from home, but also feel like I'm at home. Your photos are all over the department store. Yes, how are, uh -huh. I, I want to be here when they get rid of them. So you, you, you choose the outfit uh, for the photo shoot? Yeah, so, so we had you know, the, the pieces of um, like accessories and stuff from the mm -hmm. SM store. And my stylist, Kevin, uh, he came with you know, tons of fun, funky uh, clothes that we could pair them with to kind of highlight you know, the products that we here, have yes. here at the SM store. Um, so, you know, even when I have a stylist, it's it's not quite all their, um, you know, all their choice. I love to, you know, kind of get in the way and, and mm -hmm. make some choices of my own. So, it's it's, it's all a collaboration, I guess. Who are your influences, Maria? Um, you know, I, I feel like a broken record every time I say it, but Lady Gaga is yeah. always mm -hmm. one of my go-tos um, for a young person like me, for a drag queen, a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, she's always been just a staple for me, but um, you know, people like Madonna, people in the fashion world in general, um, have just always been people that I've been able to find inspiration with and, and kind of relate to. And speaking of the LGBTQ community, um, it's very big here in the Philippines. Yeah, it's yes. So, how do you feel when um, the rights of the LGBTQ is not as advanced as how it is where you're from? Right. Because um, recently, um, it, w it was all in. It was in the national news, the top story in the Philippines about an issue of you know just going to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. the well, I mean, we even have. Um, you know situations like that every so often in the states and especially over the last year i know that was a big talking point especially with you know some of the more conservative states in the south and stuff like that mm -hmm. and you know it's you know, for some people like me i think you know who cares not who cares but like it's not affecting my life so you know do what you, do what you want to do and do what makes you happy and what you feel comfortable with mm -hmm. um but i sometimes forget that I am a lot more open-minded than the next person. So I think just creating, um, you know, an environment, a world, a community, uh, a way of going about life that uh, is more open to, you know, someone who's not the same way you are. Um, and just being more mindful that just because you don't wear a yellow jacket doesn't mean that I can't wear a yellow jacket. Um, and as far as what people do in the bathroom, as long as you don't do it somewhere near me, I'm not mad at all. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want to tell the LGBT? Just, just make sure it lands in the toilet. Uh, the, the okay. Filipino LGBT community. What would you want to tell them? Your oh message? my gosh! Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I see so many uh, inspiring queens, inspiring people in general who are just so enthusiastic about drag, about the community, about life, and um, life is all about living it. So keep doing that and do it as unapologetically as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. In Aquaria, I wanted to be the first one to greet you Merry Christmas because mm -hmm. we're starting the Christmas season in the Philippines <laughs> yeah, as early as September 1. 
So We're yesterday we started the Christmas season. Oh, and oh, oh. I want to know I want to know how will you dress up for the Filipino Christmas? Like the category is Filipino Christmas. How will you dress up? Uh as Aquarium. <laughs> you know, I kind of got blindsided. I didn't realize it was Christmas already. Yes. Um, what would I, I wear? Know. Is SM Store playing Christmas songs? Yes, I Is it they really? Are. They are. That they is, are. That's <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll have to do a, a cover of some terrible Christmas song and we can play it too. Um, I have no idea what I would wear. I, I mean, the good old classic, uh, the red jolly suit with mm. the white fur, that's always fun. Um, I'm not much of a Christmas person, though. Oh, okay. I just, but I do love, I do love gifts. So you can have something from the Christmas store, please. Yeah. Uh, Aquarius, can I just ask, what was it like for you? I know it's been a season already, but um, what was it like for you winning season ten, the oh, youngest? Oh, so cool. Queen. Um, I think technically Tyra may have been younger when mm -hmm. her, but I don't know, Chris, about the technicalities right. of it. Um, it's cool. I mean, I, I've always been very much like someone who like wants to get the ball rolling and mm -hmm. do things as soon as I think of them. Um, so once I kind of had this dream and this goal uh, for me personally, I knew that, you know, the sooner I can take care of it, the sooner I can move on to different things in my life. Um, I think being so young and having hopefully such a long lifespan ahead of me allows for so many crazy things to happen. So when I was auditioning, I knew I wanted to get on. Who wants to audition twice? Mm -hmm. um, when I was on, I was like, we're gonna have to make the most of this and yes. win and kick some butt, and we did that. And you, did. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just so many talented girls on the show, but mm -hmm. um, to be recognized as one of them, uh, it's just so cool, and it just allows me to do so many more fun things for the rest of my life. Yeah, because you already did. Right, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, one uh, more question, mm -hmm. though. Um, can you just go back a little bit to your SM campaign? Yes. What is it about SM? I'm sure you get a lot of offers everywhere in the world, but what is it about SM that made you say, yes, I'm in? Well, I think it's really, I, I, for, for a lot of reasons, like just the, the distance of here from the States is, is so cool. I love traveling internationally. I, I, I think um, a lot can be learned from international travel and, and, and different cultures and stuff like that. So to be able to be a big face here is super cool. It's, uh, you know, it's always every American's dream to be like an international star and, and I, to do something so international like this is, mm -hmm. is so cool for me. And, and between the, the fans that I already knew were here for me, and the fans that I've now realized uh, that live in the Philippines that are excited to see me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's just such a cool community here, and uh, it, it seemed like just the right thing to do, and, and as some store, it certainly hooked me up too, so um, I, I'm gonna be happier and feel more welcomed. What do you want to achieve, Clara? Uh, I want to be Naomi Campbell, but I don't know yeah. how uh, lofty of a goal. Um, what do I want to achieve? Uh, happiness. Happiness is never bad. Yes. Um, happiness, peace, and uh, and amazing looks. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> More much. More power to you, of course. Live their truth. You, you yeah. Have yeah. Yeah. I. You know, there's never like a right or a wrong time to come out to, you know, feel comfortable in yourself. Um, and I think it's important to remember that. You know, who you are today is not who you are tomorrow. Uh, life's definitely a journey, and um, I think even with my drag, like, yeah, I won Drag Race last year, but that doesn't mean that that's, like, when I'm going to stop growing or when I'm going to stop evolving and, you know, becoming a better version of myself. So just knowing that you don't have to be perfectly fine today and you don't have to be perfectly fine tomorrow um, and that there's just a, a future is, is really important. Life is all about the journey and... Um, if you get to the end of the journey too early, mm -hmm. there's nothing to explore. So um, take your time and, and breathe. Thank you.